Uh, Victor Eva, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm pleased to join you for this, our Hong Kong Foundation Insight Forum. Today, we set our sights on the future of Hong Kong as a regional innovation hub. One of the three forums under the Foundation's Hong Kong Way Forward series. Before stepping into the future, we have to understand where we stand now. We all know the importance of innovation and technology, INT, to our economy as a strong impetus for growth. It diversifies our economy and creates quality jobs for our people. And we are determined to build Hong Kong into an international innovation and technology hub, which is underpinned by the national 14 five-year plan. As many of you are aware, the government has been spearheading efforts in a number of major areas to advance our INT development so that it would facilitate our economic transformation. We have poured in more resources to build more R&D infrastructures and promote R&D. We have implemented measures to attract more talents and to revitalize our venture capital and private equity regime. We also enhance government's procurement policy to embrace more innovative products and update our legislations. In the past five years or so, we have invested over 150 billion for INT development. The results today are clear and compelling. Even amid the pandemic, Hong Kong startups soared from about 1,000 in 2014 to currently about some 4,000. Over the same period, venture capital investments rose from 1.24 billion to nearly 42 billion. The number of people employed in the INT sector rose by 30% to more than 45,000. We have also seen growing popularity of STEM in education with more university graduates majoring in related programs. But in a world where competition for INT talents and companies is very keen, we must do more. Allow me to touch on a few things that we are working for Hong Kong and the future we can see. We are working out a strategic plan or a roadmap that will set out the directions and objectives of Hong Kong's INT development in the coming five to 10 years. We plan to roll it out within six months of this new government. One priority of all this is to build up an overarching ecosystem for INT. It is essential to promote cross disciplinary and cross jurisdictional collaboration among the government, industry, academic, and the research and development sector, so that we will be able to connect upstream research to midstream and downstream market. Hong Kong has long been well regarded for excellence in research, but only when research outcomes are better integrated with commercialization and products could we expect our INT development to be more sustainable sustainably powered. Another focus is INT infrastructure. Under the Northern Metropolis Development Strategy, the Hong Kong and Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park and the Lok Ma Zhao Santin area will form the Santin Technopole. The Technopole together with the Shenzhen INT Song will rise as a world-class INT hub with Hong Kong at the fast beating heart of it. Joint venture in INT infrastructure also signifies blooming collaborations between Hong Kong and our sister cities in the GBA. 
If Hong Kong wants to become a regional innovation hub, we must see each of our strengths and capitalize on them. Indeed, there is much room for Hong Kong and other GBA cities to work together, such as consolidating our INT resources, including people and capital, and synergizing our research capabilities and marketing potentials. But above all, people are the most valuable assets for INT. Over the past month or two, in consultations for the CE's policy address, we have fully heard the need for Hong Kong to attract more talent and strategic enterprises to come here to help power our whole INT sector. Rest assured, we will roll out measures to achieve this. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe Hong Kong is on the right track for INT. With all our endeavors and the strong support of our country, the future of Hong Kong as a regional innovation hub looks extremely promising. My sincere thanks to the Hong Kong, our Hong Kong Foundation for organizing the Hong Kong Way Forward Forum Series. I wish you all a rewarding, rewarding day. Thank you.